Can you believe that it's been nine years, nine years <laughs> since your X Factor audition of At Last? How does that feel? Makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to get into some questions. First question is that iconic blue suit that you wore. Mm -hmm. Would you change your suit choice? I would just make it a little bit bigger. It was a bit unforgiving on camera. But for me, the reward of seeing people react to the song always makes it worth it singing the song. So I, I never get bored of it. People love the song so much. Um, I would have thought this person's very nervous, but who wouldn't be in front of all those cameras and thousands of people watching you and all those celebrities looking at you directly in your face? But yeah, nervous and sound soulful, I guess. Of all the other auditions that year, other than yours, who had the best audition? I think who took, kind of took the show by storm was actually Lucy Spragan, because she came with something so new and fresh. She came with her own song. She wrote the song. She actually, before we signed any contract, she actually sold a lot of records from her audition. So I have to pick up Lucy just for kind of having that initiative and just you know, being an artist on the stage. But it's hard, I can't choose. The X Factor has ended. Uh, it was announced Yay! this year. <laughs> After 17 years, I believe. However, if the X Factor was still on in 2021, what would you, Jarmaine, change about it if you had the power to? What would I change? I would remove all the stupidness. <laughs> I would literally just make it about singing, but unfortunately I feel like that would wouldn't do as well. I think people love the drama, but in this more social, in this more socially aware age, I feel like people aren't finding it as funny. Just don't dig into people's personal lives either. No sob stories, even though, even though they're not sob stories, those people's lives. Just music, 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 music. That's the focus. That's all we want from the show is an incredible singer, artist, band, group, whatever you call it. That's what we want from the show. I think it's such a waste of time. There's so many, so much staff involved in X Factor, so many people are involved in creating this artist, essentially, and then they just throw it away of a cover album or don't make an album at all. The last few winners, some of them don't, didn't even get an album, so it's kind of a waste of time to put all that money into an artist and not make music. So, so since your audition, you've been stationed in London, and mm -hmm. you've been in London the longest you've ever been anywhere else. So would you class yourself now as a Londoner? <laughs> I think because my life was so, so much of being a gypsy before, just moving from place to place to place to place, I don't think it's fair if I call myself a Londoner for the people that have lived here all their lives, but I will call London home. Okay, which leads me to my next, are you a Londoner quiz? <laughs> no, <do you? laughs> I'm gonna play this London game. If you wanna play along with me, Check out the link below and let me know in the comments what your score is. Which one of these tube stations connects with the London Overground? It's between Highbury and Islington and Hampstead. I walked past Hampstead the other day. Highbury and Islington I went with. Which London venue is this? Now when you sing around places everywhere just goes into a blur. Pretty sure I've sung in here. <laughs> Shepherd's Bush Empire. I got to tour with Gabrielle, and it was my first time performing in Shepherd's Bush Empire. I did it. So, which company is based in this building? I already know. I don't need to read this out. I know it's Google, Facebook, Google, or Le Lego. Looks like a Lego. Um, Google. I feel like London. <laughs> which London underground station is this? Canary Wharf, London Bridge, Stratford. That's Canary Wharf. London Bridge says it has a glass ceiling right now. I've never been to Stratford Station. Which of these restaurants does not have a branch in Leicester Square? Well, this isn't a London question. This is a foodie question. It's gonna have to be... I'm gonna go with the Chiquito. <laughs> Got it wrong, Frankie and Benny's. But that's an American shop, I thought it'd be down there. Um, which of these troop stations is in zone one? Not East Acton, West Kingsington. 
I got that one wrong with my <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in London all my life. <laughs> Which of these shopping centres opened first? Brent Cross. Never seen that before. Whiteley's, I've been there. I used to go to Whiteley's the lounge. Westfield is new, we know that's new. Brent Cross looks old. But I know Whiteley's goes back. Whiteley's. Oh, it was what I thought it was going yeah, to be! I put Whiteley's as well. I knew it was going to be Brent Cross in my head. And this is the roundhouse, but what borough of London is it in? Camden. It's in Camden. Which is the only Witherspoons pub whose name features on a London Monopoly board? None of these sound like Monopoly board things. Do you know what I mean? How often do you play Monopoly deal? Quite. Angel, I'm going... God, I got it right. <laughs> I just went with... I always second guess myself and then I go with the wrong answer and I've done that twice in this game. Which London theatre is home to the first UK run of Hamilton? Victoria Palace Theatre. I went there. It's in Victoria. Which of these is not a real DLS... DLS <laughs> DLR station. Cyprus? What? It's got to be Cyprus, right? Royal China? Is there a station in, Royal... in Chinatown? No, it's the DLR. It's far east. Is Croydon in London? No. It's a different postcode. It's CR, it's Croydon. I got it right, okay. Yes. Which of these restaurants has the most branches in London, including franchises? Dixie Chicken, never heard of it. There's gotta be Chicken Cottage. That's the only one I've heard of. Another place which I have not eaten in. <laughs> You're a true Londoner. How much did you get? I thought I got more than 13 out of 20. <laughs> 13 is not bad. <laughs> to be fair, you got the same amount as me. And I've lived in London all my life. So I think it's pretty <laughs> fair to say that after nine years, you can call yourself. Yeah. Did we get the same school? Yeah. I wish I got one more. Just one more. So I can rub it in your face for the rest of time. Sure. So if you enjoyed this content and want more like it, Please comment below, subscribe, or music from me, check out my latest video, a tribute to Aretha Franklin. If I Should Lose You, it's a song that I play before almost every show to warm up and inspire me. So check that out, let me know what you think, and share some love.